What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Genitals <laughs> intact, bitches. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. Amber, welcome. <laughs> yeah, let's hey. open up some of that if we're going to be real. Oh, from, boy. Uh, oh, I need oh no. Now. Yeah, you need a little. Here, give me a little. <laughs> you're completely off the key. Oh, that's camera. fine. That's fine. Go. That's you good. Go. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Keep as go. much of it off you. camera as possible, really. There if we're going to go. be. Thank you so much, Woo, Amber. Appreciate that. Was a that was doozy, baby. Doozy of an episode. And here, now we're going to talk about fun sex. <laughs> you know, <laughs> how sex can be like thrilling, you know, or bad. I don't really want to fuck a gecko. How down yeah. and dirty can we get with these representations of corporations and brands? And first of all, let me just say right off the bat. Using a mascot as your public facing like persona is such a cheap tactic, such a cloying and silly thing to latch your brand onto. Oh, you're just not confident enough in your own product that you have to have some goofy character represent you. Oh, okay, real smart, real clever. Also, Tierzo's in the house. Hi, Tierzo. How Yo, you what's doing? What's up, Tierzo? Get some. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Everyone's alienated right now. What's up, everybody? How's it going, man? Yo, chat. Yo, Nate takes photos. Photos. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. I hope you take if you take photos of naked people, I hope they approve and are cool with it. Now, everybody, <laughs> welcome to Tears of a Clown. We're talking about corporate mascots by fuckability, yeah. okay? Uh, because, you know, and I want to talk about this because you know, if I fucked a tiny gecko, he would explode, right? Because of my big, big dong. Right, first right. of all, first of all, Holden, you're already, right off the bat, experiencing such a narrow mindset of what a sexual experience can be. If anything, I I feel like if that tiny gecko is down to clown and please you, you could experience things that you could not experience with a full-size living being. So you're saying I should eat That's the what gecko's I'm asshole. Yes. That's what you're saying. I'm saying I'm saying the <laughs> gecko can go places, places you didn't even think a thing could go. Yeah, it could That's crawl what I'm in saying. your ass. Yeah. The gecko yeah. crawls in your ass. We can also like pretend we can put on our adult brains and imagine like a life size human gecko, like a dinosaur, and that could be a cool fuck for you, Olden. Yeah, unfortunately mm -hmm. still would explode on my master <laughs> dong. Dude, I got a fuck my dong got its masters, dude. It got a full on grad school. It yes. For business and psychiatry. Could you hold a pencil in your <laughs> penis hole and it was like, Ooh. yeah, exactly. It can draw. It can speak seven languages. Don't tear so. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. I feel so judged just because I said that Indiana's a place where losers go to die doesn't mean you have to come at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'm excited to talk about the Michelin Man because he's my favorite. I think he'd hold the door open for me. He might be into a little bit of butt play. I wouldn't be opposed. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about butt play. We're talking about, honestly, very little vaginal play. It's mostly anal, and we're going to go mostly oral today, right, Jake? What are, you, what are you honing in on? What are you thinking about buttholes? Are you thinking about oh. mouth holes? What, do you, what excites no, you no. today? No, no. If we're talking bangability, you got to think the total seductive package. Who is the most romantic? Who gets your like motor going? Who can seduce you not only in body, but also in mind? And for me, it's got to be Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut is absolutely, he's suave. He's debonair. He's rich. He is a giant peanut. I feel like is Mr. So peanut much was on about Epstein's him. Island. To be yeah, honestly, to be fair, Jay. No, no, no. He, no, no. He, <laughs> he was one of the people ticket. that would that knew. He's he. <laughs> you know what? Mr. Peanut Naomi would Campbell. do the RFK thing. <laughs> Mr. Peanut would be like, uh, listen, I knew a lot of weird perverts. I didn't go to their islands. It was just, you know, right. it's just what you do when you're in my line of work. You're just constantly meeting <laughs> legendary criminal perverts. Look, I'm, all I'm looking at and thinking about and talking to in my sleep is a hole and the value <laughs> of a hole and what a hole means to me. And at the end of the day, if I know someone who's going to be bleaching it, who's going to be keeping it well uh, lasered off everything, it's going to be clean as a whistle. That's right. 
Mr. Clean. He's got the freshest, Ooh. sweetest, cleanest, every bit of all of his holes. You know right. what I mean? I'll dock that motherfucker, which will make his dick explode. Because of my mean dog. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Amber. I didn't mean to f- freak you out with how crazy good my penis is. Whatever, Tierzo. I feel like Mr. Clean was on January 6th. I think he was giving blowjobs sure. in the parking lot no. on January 6th. I think that's what Mr. Clean was doing. Which we, he might have been a good thing because if he wasn't blowing those dudes, they could have blown up the Capitol. There you go. Happy Juneteenth, everybody, by the way. Uh, happy, I would yeah, say happy Juneteenth, everybody. I'm going to go with, we've we've made already made accusations about Epstein Island, about, about January 6th and storming buildings. I mean, come on, people. These are mascots of corporations. These are unassuming, absolutely right down the middle, have zero opinions on anything and have no involvement in anything that would especially involve okay. chemical castration. Jake, back to you. <laughs> so you make a very good point. Are we talking, like, does the corporation the mascot represents filter into your judgment of what's going on? Like, are bit. we judging it? Because, like, okay, vibes. okay. I think vibes. Vibes, yeah, for I sure. Uh, also, the Magic Moose, thank you so much for the sub. It's a hype train, bitches. Keep it going, dude. It's a fucking dirty hype train. Talk about whole Heracles Bass. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much to uh, Bolt Vanderhuge666. Thank you so much for the sub. Pack of Misfits with five gifted subs. That's that's going to earn you our very first gift sub balloon. That's right. You get your own veto balloon. Pack of Misfits. You get to, uh, we haven't even put anything on the board yet. Wow. But you can change him up or down. And Hilaire, Satan with another five gifted subs. They're already called. Whoa. Whoa. Don't even fucking think about gifting five more subs. Actually, please do it. It's uh, we need it. Please actually, so it, it really supports the network. It helps keep these productions going. It is the most fundamental way you can show support for the streams that we please. do here. I would, I would really appreciate it. If, if you, you have Amazon anyway. and you haven't fucking <laughs> used your fucking Prime sub, I will fucking find a go outside and I'll find a little mouse. I'll find a little mouse or I'll find a kid's pet and I'll fucking take it its fucking existence. I'm not actually going to do it, Twitch police. Don't come at me. Everyone's trying to cancel me. I'm a modern day philosopher and I can't say anything anymore. All right, let's fucking get the first one to talk. And Amber, I'm sorry. I don't mean to d- talk over you like the dirty st- stinking man that I am. I'm just agreeing with you. Let's go. Let's pain, go first. Pain, thank you for the gifted sub. Daddy Nuggy Nugs, thank you for the sub. It's a fucking level Five hype train. Tiger Whoa. Cat, thank you for the sub. Wow. Unbelievable. And Hilaire Satan, again, also has the other sub veto balloon. Let's take it away with the first entrant on the board. Miss Chiquita uh, Banana. Now, a lot now. The, 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 let's get political the, immediately. Yeah, we were talking about the corporations. I don't know. Somebody told me that the Chiquita Banana killed a bunch of people. So, okay, if you look at the the graphic, there's the history of the Chiquita Banana logo. And if you notice that first one, before 1947, before they switched to, yeah, there's a gun on it because it was the United Fruit Company. And they waged uh, just a campaign of bloody suppression all across South America Uh, so that we could have bananas. F tier? Should we go F tier? You know what, though? But let's talk about this for a second. You know what I mean? Because everybody does think, you know, let's talk about, like, what, Breaking Bad or whatever it is. Or, like, Bat. She's, yeah, she's a bad girl. She's Griselda or whatever. You know what I mean? Which is fucking hot. So I want to sit here. Oh, no. Killing people sad and bad. All right? I get it. So the Chiquita banana lady didn't do that they brought in the banana lady afterwards and they're like oh a lot of people are talking about all the people we killed for the bananas we gotta we gotta pull a 180 on this you guys like carmen miranda bringing huh? a woman well, to what clean up Car- a man's problems <laughs> TMB exactly. with the five gifted subs, <laughs> and we are at a level six hype train. Ladies and gentlemen, the hype could not be at a higher fever pitch. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, also, who's trying Was to that you- in support of the Chiquita Banana Woman? Is that what yes. we're, we're talking about? We love her fruit hat. We love her festive sleeves. We love her welcoming upraised arm. She's welcoming you. She's like, hi, 
eat this banana. Uh, uh, Marie, cute. I couldn't agree with you more. There's no ethical mascot fucking under late stage capitalism. <laughs> right. So let's just get real here. She's got fun, juicy tits and a holes as far as the eye can see. I don't see many more entrants to the list that has as many holes as she does. I feel like the Chiquita Banana Lady has a really nice apartment with like drapes coming mm. down the walls and she like doesn't believe mm -hmm. in doors, you know, and like has candles everywhere. We don't know how her apartment hasn't burned down. Right. Absolutely. She's going to read your tarot when you come over and she sucks your cock. Yes, absolutely. If, she sucks your dick that, that somehow is, with a cigarette in her mouth. Yeah. And we don't even know how she does it. Yeah, she lives in Bushwick. You see the Chiquita Banana Lady at a party and you know you're at a good ass party. You yeah. know that you are at the right party if it's you like see incense, a Carmen. Yeah. She's wearing a crown with grapes in it. How could it not be a fun hang? <laughs> That's the thing. You're eating grapes while you're getting that dome. You know what I mean? Also, Amber, <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to start purchasing a little bit higher quality vodka. This tastes like battery acid. Oh, really? Come <laughs> China? <laughs> was $2.50. Jesus Christ, Amber. It that is, is like... not vodka. You use that to clean an AK-47. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is fucking insane, dude. All right. But, no, but first, let's talk about it. I'm sorry. I don't want to hit the camera. No, no, yeah, yeah. Don't throw the I'm sorry. I don't want to throw the, the vodka. Camera. I'm sorry, Tierzo. All right. Anyway. to throw in Kamchatka. the vodka. Kamchatka. Kamchatka. All right. That's from not even, yeah, that's from like not even Russia. It's like some weird it's country we don't even know exists. That's from a or you're at a frat country. house and you're trying no, to bully someone with a very. Tearzo. <laughs> Tearzo. The makeup Dude, just like you. disappears. The makeup just like poofs <laughs> off her skin. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. All right. We haven't even gotten to the first one. So I'm going to go with S plus. Amber? I'll go Ooh. S plus too. You're right. There's no ethical uh, mascots if we're going there. She's an S. She's definitely going to read your tarot. She hosts a comedy show in Bushwick. Uh, Jake, it's up to you. Tiebreaker. Is it S or is it S? Um, I am not a Colombian uh, unionist in the 1920s, so I'm going to say S as well. She's a fun mascot. I like the high chi chi cha cha. I like it. There you go. Throw it on the board. Let's get start with a high note. Let's give it an S. Let's give it. She's so what? She's the spokesperson for murderers. So what? I'm tired of being nice on the stream. There's so many hot girls that are like from rich dads. Yeah. Kind of live in that bohemian lifestyle. They're right. Like, I just believe love is love. And I'm like, your dad works for Lockheed Martin. Your dad looks for Lockheed Martin, and I'm standing across the room with you, and your fillers are touching me. Yeah. So let's get let's knock it off for a second. All right, what do we got next? Hey, Colonel oh. Sanders. Now, I do, I will say a little bit of difficulty with Colonel Sanders because I feel like for some reason I just feel like he is evil. Yes, you know what I mean? I feel like he touches little boys and like he has a wife as a beard. He's definitely chemically castrated a couple of kids. I'm just going to say it right yeah. now. I, what's weird about Colonel Sanders <laughs> is I think he's the only entry on this list that was just a guy. Yeah. He was a walking he was human a being. Didn't he go to prison? He was or just. In real life? He, uh, he, he's not even a real colonel in the army. It's like a weird thing the state of Kentucky, like, deems you as, like, a, a weird honorific from, like, the Civil War era. He's just a guy that was like, I bet I could fry chicken faster if you put it in a pressure cooker. And they're like, you, sir, are basically, you led men to war. Like, I don't <laughs> understand. But in Asia, like, he is now just this, like, genial guy with weird facial hair which you know nothing wrong with that i think i can speak to that personally but it is surreal that here's just this this man this man that just, just walked around it. and and now he is this entity it's right. so surreal to well me. i'm princess amber so whoa St some people <laughs> wait who do you how did you get that title? I don't know. I'm just like Colonel Sanders. I made Which, it up. Now, people are saying uh -oh. that there, that, that there is an inherent racism with this guy. They're saying, you know, today of all days, if you don't give him an F tier, uh, you know what I mean? I, oh, well, oh, I didn't even think about it. Was that. he, did he own people? Okay. The time Colonel Sanders shot in the, first yeah, of all, if we're talking about prison. people Colonel Sanders, like, killed. He, by heart attacks alone, he has definitely got blood on his I hands. I think F tier. <laughs> F tier for this man. F tier. I do he not want to have sex with him. He's definitely old. He's definitely the kind of guy, if if you're young and hot, and I'm talking you are, you go to the bar, and the men go a wooga, whatever, right? When you walk in, and there's a dirty, there's a slime that just dribbles out of men's mouths when they see you. That's right, Tierzo. And it, it becomes... <laughs> 
to exist is to be sexually assaulted, essentially, right? And you end up, you're just gonna be with this guy because you're waiting for him to die. You're waiting for the clock to run out, okay? okay. Oh, he's okay. like a sugar daddy for twinks? Is that what you're saying, Colonel Sanders? Is? I don't think anyone's being with him for that bedroom action. That's what I'm saying, I okay? I he goes below twinks. I think he molests children. All right, there the you vibes. go. I get pedophile vibes. All right, F. F. Give Bad vibes. F. Bad vibes. F. Bad vibes all around. Don't like it. All right, there we go. We have the best of world things and the worst of things. But do we have things that exist in the middle? Who knows? What's next? The Michelin, Michelin Man. He seems like he would hold the door open for me. He's in the tire company, and I don't have a car in L.A., so he would drive me around. He knows all the good restaurants. He might do a little bit of butt play, and he might not bathe as much. That's why I'd give him an A tier instead of an S. Amber, I, Amber, wait. Here's something, though. You know, you know he would not uh, take offense if you asked him to wear a rubber. Hey. And he gives good hugs, but I, also I think he's in his suffocation play, uh, I would say. <laughs> yeah. He's also bisexual, says No Yo Bro O. And uh, what was, oh yeah, and Michelin Man eats pussy, says No Karen. Yo, you don't so. know if he's bisexual. He's just French and you can't tell. There's no way of knowing. <laughs> I like the Michelin man, you know? I think he's got, he obviously has a softness to him. Is there a secret demon mm. though, Amber? You be the judge. The only secret demon is I think he's secretly into butt stuff and he doesn't bathe as much as you want him to. Think of cars, they're always like rare, rare, rare on the road and how often do you go get mm. him clean? And do you think he has a dirty hole? I think he might have a dirty butthole. That's why I'm saying not S tier, A tier. Uh, what about you, Jake? Do you think he has a dirty, filthy hole? I have always found him to be a very upsetting creature. I do not like if we can just go but go back to the picture, just really focus on like the lumps, just like his the way his body is constructed, all the folds like it I don't even understand how tires enter into it. It's more I just like the ghost face, the weird like condom reservoir tip head, everything about him just screams like Danger and like be avoid to me. I do not. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. I, like he's freaky. He's freaky to me. He's got I a mummy element D. to him. But at the end of the day, I think you get lost in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about you, Holden? What do you think about his dirty hole? <laughs> I think he's got a nice clean hole. I think he. I think he looks like he's a, a a clean guy. But what's under those folds? You always got to wonder if a little loose chicken bone or a Shmagma? piece of gum or yeah, yeah. yeah or his own yeah pre cum. I mean, he's covered. That you, possibly is just. Pre Come, what what the look of him is? You know what I mean? Just all rolled up he's, like he's dough. He's very cum coated. I'm gonna say it. He's just, he's very he's just cum lumpy and white. I don't. How is? Are we still really considering a? I I'm, I feel like I'm in crazy land right now. I I think you are in crazy land. I think you've gone insane. But I'll say this right now, Jake. You need to be taken somewhere that has walls that are padded that you can't get out of. I'm Baker acting you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> what? Right now. I'm Baker acting you. <laughs> Can you settle for a B? Can you settle for a B? I really am disgusted. I mean, by you know this what creature. starts with C? Come, and he's come coded. I'm feeling <laughs> C E about him. Ooh, let's Ooh. Do oh, B. Let's do B. Only because they're dirty okay. hole. Okay. Okay. Because the dirty hole, dirty. I mean, okay, dirty hole, dirty hole. I'm thinking. Thinking about a dirty hole. Let's go B. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. All right. Who we got next? Uh, yeah. Who do we have next? Oh, okay. this Ooh. guy I really think is a libertarian guy that makes me go 50-50 <laughs> on dates. I think that he has <laughs> cryptocurrency. I think he has a slender Ooh. cock that I would be embarrassed to suck and fuck. He would make me come though, but I he would like breadcrumb me and not want to date me and we're in a situationship. What? I, I, I'm kind of with you. Amber, Amber, with Amber no, no, yeah. no. It's the, it's the Energizer Bunny. He keeps, keeps going, going and, go and this is going what and This is going. what he's serving. I get crypto for sure. He definitely has a lot of cryptocurrencies, he's definitely into Dogecoin. He will absolutely defend Elon Musk and oh, all the things he's said and done. Multiple well, Twitter accounts. To multiple Twitter accounts, loves that. But the flip flops and the sunglasses, it's all serving Polly Boy. He's gonna mm. be putting a lot of pressure on you to go to these events that are really weird, like awkward for you. You know what I mean? He's gonna be, and I'm not, Ooh. I don't wanna disparage the Polly community, but he's not taking you to the good events, he's taking you to the bad events. 
I think he just wants more women. I think he just wants a harem of girls. Like he just, he's not poly to get with guys. To totally. No, you 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 guys are really but like fuck nailing a guy something. Just to, to get more with more women. Exactly. Like he'll, or he'll watch. He'll let a guy come on his knee or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you so are can... so right about this because like he's a fuzzy bunny. He's a pink bunny. The most unassuming, gentle, friendly thing you can think of. But then he's got those sunglasses. He's got an attitude. He's like, there's a there's a bad boyness. There's a darkness. There's yeah. a there's a rebellious streak. And the flip flops. I didn't even realize he wears flip flops. Oh yeah. Who it gave also this says, rabbit flip flops? Who did? Also says backed by science. I don't think he's vaccinated. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Super. <laughs> super anti-vax. Very. Yeah. Thinks Fauci like is the reason why he doesn't have a job or something. Right. Like he's really into that kind of life. Um, but he's not crystal. He like biohacks. He does like he's he's taken like nine other weird chemicals to avoid taking the vax. And that it's is the kind absolutely. Of, he's gonna jackhammer fuck you, and then like you'll be like done, and he's like not done. So he'd rather just start fucking like the next girl in the room or something. And you're just. It's not, I don't think it's enjoyable. I don't think it's rewarding. I mean, it's better than, you know, uh, old man racist, but right. I think it's just no. slightly. Like, disagree, he will, disagree. He, you know, he's always ready, he's always down. I and think I, it's C, to be honest. I think D. Zero, okay, let's no, go. No, no, uh-uh. I say B. They're literally, B. B, B, you, you're talking about how he won't Crypto. get you. No vax. He won't, you're talking about how, we're talking bangability. And you guys are talking about how this guy, this rabbit, won't make you come. He, he's oh, energizer. Think, he I keeps going. Come. Are, he's just gonna come all. Yeah, over we're the gonna world. come. We're drinking two dollar vodka. Of course, we're gonna fucking come. Yeah. But it's not about that anymore. Okay, it's about the level of love you can have. Okay, come the energizer batteries have been responsible for more female orgasms than every adult man in the history of America. Right. I'm saying he's <laughs> got the stamina. Point. That's a very good he's point. got That's it for point. real. He might be a dipshit about it, but the fucking is going to work. It's going to be he, good. Yeah, he has like five girlfriends, and everybody's just like, well, I guess we can share him because he just makes everybody come. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just one mm -hmm. of the, you're just annoyed by him, but you like him. Yeah. Fauci. That's what I'm saying. That's Maybe what I'm saying. B or C, somewhere around there. Uh, B, really, Jake? You're going to make us go B? I'm pushing for B. I'm pushing for B. Only because you said the batteries made all these women come. I think that's a very good point. I would go B. All right, let's go B, but I, I, I may balloon it later. Go B. <laughs> let's go B, but that is that is in my crosshairs for a balloon, dude. Amber, that can I just guy. say, I love doing these shows with you. I just, this is like the most fun I, I have like, all month. I saw you from across the room, my girl, and I really like your vibe. It's like, your girl, is that the sad, tired woman over there that seems like she's so sick of just being right. hammered away at? A holes, a holes, a holes. You know what I mean? It's just the way you're just like, okay, fine. I'll fuck you because it's five in the morning and I fucking need something. All right. Here we go. What's up? Holden's just intimidated. Whatever, Cass reads tarot. Okay. What am I? The nine of, uh, what is it? What are they? Cups. The cups or whatever. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Pull a card for me right now, Cass. I want, a, I want one. I want a card right now, dude. All right. What do we got next? Oh, oh shit, the Kool-Aid man. There you go. Damn, dude, look at that fucking ass. Yeah, I dude, know. That's such a I bullshit think that... rendering though, dude, but look at that <laughs> ass, dude. What is that 3.6 inches thick? What the fuck does that mean? That's the thi <laughs> uh that's the thickness of the glass if you were glass, scaled not up as to cock, proper size. James. Sorry. Please. I'm like going back and forth on if this guy's like a, a bear at Pride Week. Like, does he go to mm. the Eagle on Bear Night and then just fuck in the bathroom, like, and do poppers? I feel like he or, wouldn't be know. subtle. He wouldn't be hiding it. It's the no. Kool Aid Man. He oh. makes himself known. He bursts through the room. Thank yeah. you for the sub. I don't really play video games. Who says, fuck that Kool Aid Man? <laughs> for fuck me, it it's way. the voice. For me, it's the, oh, yeah. Oh, he how says you that doing? when he comes. Yeah, yeah, I think he comes in a lot of assholes. Yeah. Do you think it's do you think he's like a power top? Is that what you're saying? I think so. I, I think, think he so. also has some kind of venereal disease because he's just fucked so many guys without a condom. Oh yeah. Hackamist just thank you the gifted <laughs> sub to Britnick. Appreciate you. Uh, do you I think like he this. comes Kool-Aid? Do you think right. there's a separate fluid, right. or yeah. is it Red just everything? Which is great because then you get you get hydrated, you get. Oh um, yeah, yeah. 
you know, <laughs> delightful you, summertime refreshment. Yeah, and you're kind of right, and you feel like a kid again, a, 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 <laughs> one that's not castrated, and you can really enjoy your day. You know what I mean? I'm thinking B. Have you ever, have you <laughs> ever had the erotic pleasure of taking a bath in your own lover? Whoa. That's what the Whoa. Kool-Aid man brings Whoa. to the table. All right, Cass reads Tara, Holden, cut the deck, top, middle, or bottom. I'm going top, because we're talking about a, pow a power top right now. <laughs> right. All right, uh, I'm high on Kool-Aid man. He's very, he's very jolly, he's happy, and confident. And I think that's what you need. Mm -hmm. He seems confident, but he seems like he's down to stay a while. I mean, the only thing is maybe he would tire out because he is so full of sugar, and he just might just, mm. you know what I mean? He just, he seems unhealthy in some ways, right? But I, oh god, or like, what if he tips over powerful. and just like just drenches you, just like and just? I'm now I'm thinking logistics. Now, no, like literally, he just leans over you and just he's just spilling out and he's like oh no my my juice my precious juice i just realized uh, she's pregnant that's and i tell you i might get pregnant from a gay man i want I, I lately i've been wanting to have a baby and i've always been attracted mm -hmm. to a gay man both my high school and college boyfriends were gay so if you are gay in the chat Tell me. All right, here we go. Baby. King of Swords, I got. Rules his world with the stories he applies to people and situations instead of facts. <laughs> 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 I love it, but this is one thing I don't fucking love. Okay, oh, we become we we tend to be quick to judge the King of Swords, but let me tell you this right now, dude. I'll judge this Kool Aid right fucking now, dude. You can't get oral from that fucker because it's just a mouth on a glass. Right, right. How, by the way, how's he fucking you with the power bottom? What what is he using? Because it would slop out. Yeah, he's just yeah, gonna yeah. drench you, trying to kind of rub. You could kind of scissor him, but he doesn't really seem to have anything to work with. You know what I mean? So I don't it know is about this. Jake. nightmare. Yeah, it's very difficult to figure out and parse. Hmm. So I will say, physio you know, from an anatomy perspective, Kool-Aid Man might be one of the worst options we have on this list, <laughs> but I still can't <laughs> deny the riz, the swagger, the right. voice, the, the confidence, that smile, and, and the goddamn that smile. He can, he can, he can bust <laughs> through a brick wall. Like, I, I take back what I said about the gay thing. I think I saw the picture of his butt, and it confused. Yeah, it, it, right. I, what mm. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a guy that plays D and D that has swagger, and I know that's hard okay. to find, but they are here to find. And I think he's like, he he's very like, hey, everybody who wants to come to the game night, you know? Right. I feel like too, if we're talking about logistics, let me throw this out there. You'd climb up into him, and you'd like beat off in him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Which would be kind of cool. And you get to control everything, and it's like a natural lubricant. Tears, oh please. I'm doing science over here. Okay? This, this is normal. This is health class. This is normal. Holden, thing. no. You're going full oingo boingo. This is weird science, my friend. Right, this but is then you weird get cum science. in the Kool Aid, and that's what g killed all those cult members. There you go. Yeah. All right, here we go. This might guide us. Whoa. This might guide us right wow. here. Ace of Wands on the bottom. It's time to pick up an old passion you may have had to put down. So I think that's um, jerking off to cartoon characters. Right. Or Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> All right, we need a letter. We I'm need to grade C, this. Because I can't quite put a thing on him. C. I want to I, I want to bump him a little higher to B because I do love his energy. Mm. I think he's got B, not beta though, but he's got B energy. You're right. He is boisterous. Let's do B. B. Let's, Let's give B. him a B. But I feel like we're giving everybody a B right now. I want to give someone a different letter. I can't get a read on Cooley Man, and it's upsetting me. Uh, <laughs> we'll keep going. He's made of glass, but it's strong glass. It can break through. It's it's special glass. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. What do we have next? All right, I'll, he'll explode. F. Yeah. He'll explode I, on my cock. I hate his. I'll I slide my cock accent. into his throat. He'll blow a little. Oh, and then it blow up. And no, he's not life size. He's a tiny little gecko, as evidenced by the different sizings they've done in the commercials. So no, I'm not gonna play your game and pretend <laughs> that he's bigger because he's not bigger. He'll be like, let throat me, please. I'm a mighty or whatever he says. And then I'll be like, no, okay, and I'll put my penis right into his mouth, and he'll go ah and explode. <laughs> so so, so passive and British. Hole. 
Oh, he's bread. I do think the reason I'd give him an F is because he'd be a selfish lover. I do think he'd do something, crawl on your dick or blow up on your dick, and then he'd like lay next to you and then just talk about himself all the time. Because so his many blown up body parts would lay next to you, which is a fucking um, body horror movie. That's some fucking Cronenberg shit, dude. I'm not here for it. I mean, you as a female woman could at least argue, hey, you can climb up inside he your could pussy. He could like lick my clit. He could do right. it really well, but I I think he'd be a selfish. And tail, lover. and he could do the uh, back hole with the tail. Yeah, that works well. Mm. Yeah, I still think he'd, he'd be do selfish. that. Because a lot about, of that. Yeah, yeah. Think about insurance salesman. Oh, he's salesman. Australian. I'm sorry, somebody is correcting me. He's Australian. What did you yeah. say? Was we all knew he was Australian? I didn't. What? I thought he was British. I, I thought, thought he was like, like a, a proper. No, he talked British like man. this in oh, yeah, the I thought, was, I thought he was Cockney. Yeah, oh, is he caught yeah, me? I thought, I, he was, thought he was. I thought he was Australia. I thought he'd talk like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm the gecko, gecko. You he know? seems like the kind of guy that shows up to a party and like fakes an accent for fun. Seems like the kind of guy who's like, hey, let me suck your dick, and then he does it, and then he immediately explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not into it, dude. I feel like we not can- Not into it. I mean, I guess if- uh, This is hard, because I feel like if he's with the ladies, though, or, or I guess also I'm not at I, I'm talking all this whole talk, but I'm not really big into my in, into butthole play for me. So maybe if I did open up to butthole play, maybe that's the old habit I need to pick back up or whatever from the tarot card, uh, that sort of thing. I'm not sure, but yeah, exactly. I think he could he he'd be better for a hole, and I'm just having a hard time with it because I'm thinking I, the this other might way be around. Gross. I don't want to disgust anybody in chat, <laughs> this but like might I feel be like. Gross. <laughs> This, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to degrade the quality of the conversation holding because we've been keeping it really classy so far. Right. But I feel yeah, like he more. could skitter on a dick yes. real, real interestingly. I feel like there could be some dick skittering that he's capable of. Dick skittering? But again, I just do yeah. I don't want a little creature crawling on my. I don't want like a cockroach <laughs> feeling on my penis, bro. That's not getting me. That's not getting me anywhere, dude. Maybe he has like short guy energy, and it's just kind of like like bald short guy stuff. I'm saying I'm not saying all bald, bald short guys are bad, but I did have an ex that was bald and short, and he was angry all the time. <laughs> You're so fucking Checks angry. Out. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. All right, Amber, why don't you, from a whole perspective, why don't you s just weigh in on what you think the Geico Gecko could do for you from you know, a... I think it would be like at the end of the night at a bar. I'm lonely. I haven't gotten any in Lit so to pieces. Lit to you pieces. Are, you've had so much cheap vodka. Yeah. That you smuggled it to the bar. I brought it into my purse. It's one of those nights. Like I'm, I'm broke and I'm horny. It's like she's, one of those Yeah, the bar's just like, she spent more time in the bathroom than out in the bar. And I don't even think she does cocaine. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's one of those. He's coming back to my place because he lives like under a tree or something. And then like, I think he's going to run around my clit really fast. I'll get off. And then he wants to talk about Nietzsche or something. Oh my God, exactly. Yeah. You're like, I'm so blackout right now. I have no interest in this. Yeah. And you're just trying to stay awake. And he's like, we should watch Woody Allen's Manhattan right oh. now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. God. Oh, that is so accurate. Oh, How did you right. summon that? He's an F. He's an F. I F. think he's going to make me pay for the movie, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. He's going to make you. He thinks like Blockbuster still exists. All right, yeah. Let's go with F. Put another gecko on the band. <laughs> All right. What do we got next? I hope it's mm. slime related. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Again, we're dealing with a tiny little creature, you know, and it's kind of tough he's for me. Malleable, to he's malleable, though. He's malleable. He will explode. I can fuck him for an afternoon and he won't blow he up. He loves it when you touch Hold his it. tummy. This might be the grossest thing I've ever said, but you can warm him up in the oven. Right. Yes. You could do that. And then, dude, he's kind of like the perfect like pocket pussy. Yeah, he could sure. be a warm. Yeah, nice and warm. What's the vibe though? I guess we should, okay. He's malleable. You could use him, and and you, however, Amber, we can use him on us. He's kind of the mo he's like the opposite of the, the gecko. He's usable you know for everybody. However, vibe check. I think that he is a male feminist that is always okay. trying to like sat say some stats to me to just try to fuck me, and I'm gonna fuck him, and it'll be okay. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I feel I'm like, but he's really jovial. Like he gives off very like warm kind of 
you know, uh, he. I don't know if he is that serious. I feel like he's the kind of guy. He's like he's a good times guy. He just wants to fucking smoke oh. a joint, watch you know Turner and Hooch, and then fuck. You know, Chat makes a very good point. Chat is really uh, pointing out a. He's very babyish, very child coded. But yeah. more importantly, if you di- supposing that he is. Uh, like he, I'm at full. I can give consent. I'm yes. 38. He's like, like 38. whatever. He's 38. He's 38. We okay. With that he in does mind, have a babyish voice. I feel like he's a male cancer, like the zodiac sign, um, mm-hmm. who is just gonna like, like repeatedly call you really late. Yeah. You know, and like at the work, the giggle, and I'll be like, I'm it's at work. The giggle. Stop calling me, doughboy. And he's like, I oh, just uh, want to talk. <laughs> Pagamista says yeah. he keeps a list. Do we think he has a body count list? Ooh. I don't know, dude. I think he's too like he's just like. Uh, do you, I mean, unless we want to decide in the lore of this uh, mascot that he's got this dark underbelly. Look at the eyes, Holden. Okay, oh, yeah, let's see the eyes. He goes, ha ha ha. But look at those eyes. Those like, eyes don't lie. Like a doll's Ooh. eyes. You know, yeah, I think the ha ha is a total mask. Okay. He seems like a good time guy, and he has all these facts, so you're like, yeah, I should get along with that, but I think he has a body count, and I think he's a little weird. All right, Jake, how do we feel? I need from you, um, I need from you. I was really trying to give it my all. I was really, like, trying to stretch my imagination and find a way, but all I could imagine is he's 38 years old, we we're making it work somehow, we're back in the bedroom, and out of nowhere, he just gives a little, <laughs> and I'm just like, no, gross, never, C, awful. D. Right. D. You know what, you I know what say I'm going to throw out there? You know what I'm going to throw out there for him? I don't know if this helps or hurts. He goons. He goons hard. <laughs> That's not a positive. He goons. He it's a, a very negative. Porn. Yes, he watches yeah. a lot of <laughs> he porn. He subscribes to a lot He's of He's like got Kanye again. level porn addiction. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking mm. D or C to him only because D. he can like be warmed up and you can like cuddle with him. But I think he has a massive mm. porn addiction that he hides behind these like. Weird and that's the dead eyes. He's seen so much stuff. He <laughs> uh, Yeah. The only porn he can watch nowadays, it, it, it starts with a video of the girl holding up a sign saying, like I consent to this or whatever, right? right? right. I'm going C because he's still he's very malleable. I I'm saying D. I'm saying D. All right, D. tiebreaker to D. Put what it is, at D. What is Chat saying? I wish I could read it. Um, Chat says uh, we love Amber. Amber for mayor of Cincinnati. <laughs> Amber should be the front person of a rock and roll band called Cunts. It's like a ton of great. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome <laughs> feedback. All right. All right. <laughs> Dorkenstein says Amber I cashed out my entire college uh, fund for my baby I have it all in a pile say the word and I'll set it on fire that's Ooh. weird <laughs> <laughs> what's the magic word Pillsbury Doughboys come there you go that's it. Uh, all right what's next oh the green Ooh. or the red all of, them, or all of them. All of them at once. So oh, like we're doing gang gang? like an orgy with the with them. I'm thinking A. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. I would have a good orgy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. I think I'd have a good orgy. I think Orange might push the limit a little bit um, because he's mm. always felt held back by Red. So he's got to feel like he's got to push the limit. Red is so he's sexy. over the top for it, though. He's what? No, so the one like, with John Lovitz's voice? Exa- he's like the, yeah. He's he is, really but he's so red. like, look at that. I'm just going off the picture. I forgot that he has John Lovitz's voice. What about or Tucker now Carlson? it's Billy West, if I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I Tucker just. Tucker Carlson in the gangbang. <laughs> I, Amber, I for the sake of this argument, no. Tucker Carlson is not a member of this <laughs> right. sentient Here's another M&M question, gangbang. Jake, the fucking expert on this because you're a pervert. <laughs> How big are these M&Ms in this situation? I know they're not Ooh. like normal sized M&M size. They're I think not, I go small. I, Based on the commercials, I feel like they're smaller than man. About... I feel like they're about waist height in the commercial lore. Okay, like, okay. need a waist height on your average adult. Um, I, I thought we'd be talking about the yellow Eminem, voiced by uh, J.K. Simmons, classic himbo. Like, he would definitely, he's got that nut. He's got that nut. Do we have a I picture of I feel like the that's yellow? the one we... Oh, he's uh, got that dirty nut. I just realized that mm-hmm. actually does change mm-hmm. things. And oh, I, can I see the yellow m M&M, m Just the yellow? Just the yellow? Do we have that? Do we have just the yellow? Oh, yeah, because the yellow is the, the only one with the almond in it. I'm thinking A. I'm thinking I kind of want to date mm-hmm. yellow, but I don't want to bring him to see, meet my mom. I feel like, okay, I feel like they're, they're 
I, I agree with this list here. Tiger Cat, red, green, and blue would be an S, yellow a B, purple a C, orange a D. There's like a gradient. Like it's a it's mm. a spectrum yeah. of good at it between them all. But I feel so like we've got to average it out and say, out. yeah. I think in the gangbang, that's an the orange is trying picture. to do it with my ass. Yeah, that's a very, I hate the sneaker <laughs> foot. On t- I hate the in, you know, the yeah, inward that was not- feet. He's like Magic Pixie Dream Girl in that picture. Ew, or he has, he's in Bushwick and he lives in a loft. Yeah, he, he plays a ukulele. It's the whole fucking nine yards. Uh, it's awful. Yeah. I, th- I think if we're doing the whole spectrum of M&M's gangbang, I would do like a C or a yeah, B. Yeah, I'm thinking C. Because you're going to get some I, bad fucks. You're going to get some good fucks. Mm, you're going to get yeah. some licks you will never forget. And you're going to get some licks that you wish you could. You wish you could. I think the orange M M&M and M is going to yeah, put it in my ass there he is. That's my guy. Yeah, there's those DSLs I was looking for right there, dude. <laughs> pop, pop, dude. I blast a fucking fat nut right on his nut, dude. He'd be like, "You nutted." We on are my neglecting. Nut, dude. Yeah. High five and we a are shit. neglecting the green M M&M, and M. Who is deal with green? She'd be great. S S here. W- they like oh, they made put her, her heels a sex and symbol. Stuff. That's right. That was the well, Tucker yeah. Carlson. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Jake. Yeah, they took her out of heels in our in our modern era, but in the two thousands, this is a lot to put on producer James. If you can find one of those like M and M's Temptations ads, they just straight up like tried to turn this green spheroid woman into like a Maxim magazine pinup. Can model. I take- also they real quick? I don't want to put too much pressure on James. If you could also find a picture of Abe Bagoda eating a big sandwich. That's right. Go on, Amber. <laughs> um, can Tucker Carlson come to the gangbang if he's wearing heels? What? You know what? It's your world, Amber. <laughs> Live your dream. Can Amber, Carson in your to- reality, <laughs> yes, but in everyone else's, no. Okay? That's how we're going to parse that. I picture him in a business suit wearing, like, baddie heels. <laughs> and he's just going, I can't believe I'm about to fuck these M&Ms. Like, that's the way he talks about it. S tier. <laughs> I'm a C, dude. I'm a C. Des- Deskel says, what is this? In all caps. This is a stream called Tears of the Clown. And we're Ranking corporate mascots by fuckability. Get with it! <laughs> okay? It's how suckable and fuckable suckable. with the vibe. Yeah, all of it. The whole experience. Would you want to do crimes for fun again? I think arson's awesome. All right? But we don't want to talk about that right now, okay? We don't talk about any of these things. Are we, are so we... many people did not appreciate our very reasonable take that in a world where there were no negative consequences and we're no victims, old ladies. arson would be really fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask again, are we doing the spectrum of Eminem's gangbang or just the yellow? I think it's the spectrum, and I think it's a, a dead C, therefore. I think it's right, right in the middle, middle, yeah. Right in the middle. Mm. I'm going to imagine Tucker Carlson in heels mm. in the gangbang, and I want I, Can and I, I push want it up? the red Can Eminem I push to it up to the B? ass. Why is it a B, Jake? <laughs> That's insane. There's going to be so many green, bad. Because <laughs> yellow, because even red, It's there. there's so many different flavors of sexual experience you can have with the M&Ms. All right, They're I like have multiple people like, C mouth. is truly wrong, dude. C is so cruel, but pa- Pack of Misfits wrote, Jake is fucked. So I don't know who I mean, to go with. I mean, we all knew that. You know what? That was <laughs> true regardless of the stream. You can pick and choose A. All right, fine. Let's, I think A. I think B. Let's move it up to a B. Okay. Let's move it up to a B. Everybody's B. Everybody's B. Everybody's just kind of good at it. We got yeah, you're right. We gotta be start being more discerning. Yeah. Uh okay. What's next? Quaker O. A. Absolute absolute <laughs> A. Look at that. Look, he's got Wait. the cum lip and everything. He's yeah. absolutely so he's old, but he's warm. He you know what I mean? No. I don't think you know, everyone's saying F, but yeah, I think A because look, he's so happy and he's got the cum lip. I wanna get that old man on the right hand side of the screen off of here. The one with the glasses. Because yeah, he's yeah. the Quaker Oats. Wait, he's Wilford like, Brimley? Yeah, get him out of here. Not Wilford Brimley. No, his cum stinks. I just know it does. <laughs> I mean that. That's true, but still, it's Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> just for the story alone. Quaker or if Oats. anything, because of his diabetes, it would actually probably taste very sweet. If you know, I, I just wanted to give an somebody an A, a but I think everybody's right. He would fuck, he fucks through a sheet. <laughs> no, and I feel like he's might rape me. Like right. he's trying to rape me. To the Nirvana mm. song of the same no, name. Yeah. I think Quakers are the one kind of weird old timey Christian where you're actually kind of safe. I think that's actually... Uh, yeah, of yeah, the weird old timey Christians, 
Quakers are pretty damn chill. I, I think, think he's more asexual. Yeah, I think there's way more potential rapists right. in the other uh, entrance. Maybe but. like a C or a D. Because I'm, I'm not sexually I'd say attracted C. to him. C or D. You think C? I think he's below average. I think he's D. D. But not F? We don't want to entertain F? If I had I to fuck the Quaker they're... Oats guys because I was arranged marriage to him when I was 12 years old. <laughs> and, you know. Now, Pack of Misfits says Amber is fucked. So I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, All right. Thank okay. You, you know what? Amber nailed the Nirvana joke, and no one laughed. Thank you so much. Aww. Aww. This is a Nirvana song called "Whoa." I'm not even gonna say the name of the song while Tears is doing that. Unbelievable. All right, um, Amber. You, you're right. You're right. F. F. I, F you, yeah. It's you, F. you sold me. He sucks at it. Yeah. The old men get him down there. They're down. Old men don't fuck good. We gray pubes. And yeah. No. Everyone knows old men don't fuck good. I feel like his He's, cum that's is gray. A wig. His dick is gray. I one time accidentally saw my father's penis. Not on purpose. He never touched me. He came out of the bathroom and he had a gray dick, but it was very oh. big. And I think that would look like the Quaker Oats guy's <sighs> cock. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I think it would be big and gray. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> real dad dick energy. Yeah, real right. dad dick yeah. energy. <laughs> Just like you accidentally saw it. Uh, you know, like there that. There you go. Uh, Did what's I bring next? It down? No, not at all. I'm happy no. with the visual. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, how hey we doing, Mr. Peanut? Uh, Illuminati member, but that's maybe he's into that kind of <laughs> dirty. He's definitely like fucked a decapitated pig's head or whatever. You know what I mean? He's into that crazy shit because he goes to the owl ceremony with the Bilderbergers or whatever and does the whole thing there. And so, so yeah, he's definitely done like eyes wide shut level. Oh, yeah, but I think he'd be good stuff. at it. I think Mr. Sure. Peanut goes. Mm-hmm. The eyed wide shot party, but I think he like throws it down good, and I think he makes sure that that woman comes. So I might give him an A. Might give that's him an what A. I'm saying. I'm saying Mr. Peanut is not like a tech bro. He's not new money. Classic. He is like he he went to a fucking proper boarding school. He knows how to ride a horse. He mm-hmm. is debonair. He managed to make peanuts. Let's all agree. The cheapest, most unspecial nut made it seem classy. He's a great mascot. And I think he is an A level mascot. And I would absolutely. He sir, he gives great Gatsby, in a hot air balloon but, with this but man. in a in a fuck way. Like I think he's mm-hmm. yeah he exactly he's gonna take you out. You're gonna have a nice steak dinner or some um you know some kind of like a barramundi or some kind of good mm. a good fish and uh you know you have a yeah you'll he'll, he'll have a cigar with you afterwards. But he'll want to put it out on you and you'll like it and you'll want that to happen. I mean the thing is I think he's like a sugar daddy, but one of the nice ones like he's very attentive mm-hmm. he will pay you at the end of the night and he will make sure you come um but he doesn't want like he probably has a wife that he doesn't talk about yeah oh, yeah, yeah. oh to, or, or uh, what i'm thinking is great gatsby situation he like lost the love of his life she was eaten in a sandwich or something like that it was something <laughs> brutal that happened to her and so when he fucks you he fucks you like he's fucking the woman right that he's the love of his entire fucking life You're you know right. what i mean he does have we a, don't like, talk about jelly fur energy. you never mentioned jelly fur exactly yeah you never mentioned jelly fur he's he but he's gonna romance you he's gonna dance you and he's got the moves he's gonna hit the day he's gonna surprise you be like oh i know this one he's gonna come out and do a whole choreographed thing oh, yeah. for you uh yeah very like mask energy a little bit you know, I feel like, like he's a better fuck than Batman for sure. For sure, yeah, <laughs> definitely better than Batman's dad. Oh yeah, um, like he knows Batman. Like he knows Patrick Bateman or whoever the fuck that guy was. Like, yeah, you know, but he doesn't know he's Batman. But he he, he goes in the you same circles. That guy. We haven't really uh, consulted Tirzo at all. Uh, Tirzo, if you, how do you feel about sexual intercourse with the character called uh, Mister Peanut? Like, if given the opportunity, how would you uh, react? Oh, right. God, He's no! Tirzo, no! He's a slice. <laughs> Penny Lane, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Hey, please, everybody, sub to the channel, man. Tell your friends, tell your parents about it. Tell them about this particular stream and really get crazy with it, okay? I'm really, really hoping that by the next time we do this, we have enough subs that Amber gets some, like, Grey Goose or something. Right. <laughs> right. Remember, this is $2.50. <laughs> Oh, it's no. It's so bad, man. No. That, yeah, Kamchatka. <laughs> Woo, it's gone down in price. <laughs> 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 After years of it 
inflation, it has still gone down in value. Oh that is incredible. God. Yeah, this is two fifty. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, I, are S is this S for salty proof. nut man? I think it's at least I, we have nothing at A, so it makes me want to put it at A. Let's but we can let's go A because okay. the other day he's All got right. demons. He's you're not the woman he loves. He's gonna be a little weird yeah. to you after. Ta-da! A. Hell yeah. Uh, All right. Let's see. What do we have next on this list? Okay. Another potential might explode on my cock contestant, I'm going to have to say. (laughs) He's going to shit all over your apartment. Yeah, he's going to. He's so. Ducks are so annoying, dude. This is F as fuck. I could shoot a duck in the head and feel nothing. (laughs) Yeah. I think F. Okay. And they replaced the voice with. Someone other than Gilbert Gottfried, which is annoying to me, just because he made a 9 11 or whatever he did. <laughs> it's uh, he made a tsunami joke, and Aflac has like a massive Japanese business uh, win. Yeah, I looked it up. That. I looked it up. But it looks um, like he's going to be but, in your apartment just like, bah, bah, yeah. Bah, like yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, he'll suck your dick and then throw it up all over your dog. <laughs> right. It's yeah. like loud. He'll be a loud fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll be, he'll suck like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh so like it's and eat. it's it's not anthrop. It's a actual like anatomic duck, and ducks have horrifying corkscrew penises, and they're awful. And it talks like Gilbert Gottfried the entire time. Yeah, and it's and it only understands insurance. This is not a very sexual uh, pastiche we are F-tier. painting right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I I could give this more time, but why? I mean, it's just a fucking, gro- it's a duck that has an annoying <laughs> voice. It talks about insurance. Yeah, that talks about insurance. That's great pillow talk. You know what I mean? I That is horrible. I'd rather fuck a shotgun. <laughs> uh, yeah, F. F. Yeah, let's go F. F. All right, let's see. Can we see the board real quick? I want to see the board again. Let's just see where we're at. Okay, nothing at C and one D and one A and one S. It's interesting. We either kind of like them or we despise them. Ooh. Okay. All right, let's keep going. How yeah. many more do we have? Yeah, how many more do we have? Not Four that many. more. Okay, Four we can more? take our time. We're fine. We got, we're good on time. I wish I got more Everybody, kamchata. Calm down. Jeez. We're fine on time. Yeah, I know, right? We should, I could really use some more of that. Uh, <laughs> but I'm so sad we don't have that. All right. There's what do rubbing we, alcohol in the fridge. There's yeah. some rubbing alcohol in the fridge. Okay, great. Mm. Uh, what do we have next? Oh, the, the oh, Duolingo. The Duolingo owl. You know what? He will text you back. He will text you, but he will text you every single day. Yeah. He'll ask you how you doing and why haven't you texted me back. Yeah, but is it too clear. chatty? Is, yeah. Or is it like two on the phone? Be very on the mm. phone. Be very stage one clinger. If you're into that, I think I might be. He'd be good and bad and like very loving at first, but then I would be like, "Hey, I need my space." And then he'd be like, "Why haven't you texted me back? Why have you texted me back?" And I'd be like annoyed, and then just ghost him. I would ghost him. Size? What are we? What's medium. The, medium. Like a medium cock. I don't think anything special. Well, even not cock, just the size of the owl itself. I think it, it depends on. I, on I the think brain. it's up to your imagination. Yeah. I think we need to be able Honestly, to. Honestly, you just said the word depends. I think this owl's got a diaper fetish. I'm not going to lie. He Ooh, might. It's... He might have a little kink. Yeah. yeah. Amber, in your experience, what does it mean when a guy can speak a bunch of languages and like makes that a part of their personality? What I is think that like? It's pretty hot. Because I okay. lived all over the world, okay. and I would like to know someone who's also lived all over the world, you know? But don't make that your entire personality. Like, at least have, like, a little bit of who you are and not about, when I was oh. in Bali, that's a little annoying. I feel like Duo might do that. I feel like that owl might just, like, I feel like Duo the Owl has a YouTube channel where they go to, like, Chinatown and order, like, foods and fluent Mandarin and just film the old people go like, oh, oh, the owl speaks our language. Isn't that fun? Real quick, Amber, is the vodka uh, affecting your eyesight at all? No. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yeah, things are getting dim and dark. I just wanted really? to make sure. This is 80 proof. <laughs> Wait, eighty really? percentage oh, or eighty proof? I used to get a giant Wait. bottle of this and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get like one that like was like a huge one, yeah, this big. And weirdly, it cost fifty cents. It costs less the more you get. The more you get. I can't believe this went get. down in inflation. <laughs> 
All right, uh, Duolingo Owl. Uh, Duolingo Owl. I think it's C. Like, I'd probably go C. home with him. I think this is our C. Yeah, I, I think, think yeah. this is our C. This is our C. He was definitely believes in consent, but he's yes. a little annoying. Mixed feelings, mm. clingy. Yeah, but good in bed, C. These <laughs> nuts! Dude, whatever. Dude. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I always feel spent like I've been fucking for an hour. Like when we get near the end of this, like I feel exhausted from this. No, like, Holden, we got to rally. There's a few more corporate mascots. We have more. to imagine fucking. All right. <laughs> All right. Who's next, baby? We got this. Man, rest in peace, dude. S-tier. I miss the yes, of course. S-tier. I miss His Joe Kimmel so much. His face is a penis. His look at that. He's it's so just a cool, dick dude. And balls. Oh God, look at him now. Yeah, not is he even on there? He's not even on there. No, is it's he? just a green. Yeah, it's just a dumb now. camel. But there was like a man pissing on the pack or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can we S tier, baby? Yeah, look at the hard pack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. All exactly. the cool friends Max, Floyd, Eddie on percussion. He's that's, so. That's the weird thing. Yeah, he's going to take you out. He's going to take you to the local jazz bar. He's going to introduce you to the hot, cool kids, and he's going to fuck you good and slow. Look at this. This is it now. Right in front so, of your but face. the fact no, that he go. is like. Oh, <laughs> ooh, the crushes. Well, excellent choice. Yes, uh, so it's like. But the fact that. It's, but is the fact that he represents what a 14 year old boy th- who is on the verge of buying their first pack of smokes thinks is cool. I that think it's he all about motorcycles. Nice and slow. True Goonie says, S, don't forget the Playboy ad. Dude, Joe Camel was so cool. I'm so mad at the people. Oh, kids making kids buy him. Yeah, it's making us buy him. Who gives a shit? We're always going to fucking buy him, dude. Now it's vapes. It's not like there's like Mr. Vapey coming around. They're still vaping their brains out. Yes. It doesn't matter. It's a cool thing to do, and cool people do it. That's what smoking is. And if you're a teenager and you want to be cool, then you have to get really into it and yeah. hopefully quit later. And that's just what it wow. is, dude. At some point. I, okay. If I swear to God, if there was, if I met Joe Camel and all he could talk about was jazz, his Harley Davidson, and going to pool halls, I, just I came. would just you want just, to. You just made me <laughs> blast a load. I came. It's something interesting, Jake. Yeah, it's those are thing. great things. That's like it's bog standard. It's no, like, but here's like the fucking thing, Jake. textbook. I feel like he has, he does all those things, but he would be very cool if you were to talk to him about like a toy train hobby. You know what I mean? Like he's, he has an open thing. He's obviously playing the piano. I think he's like a connoisseur. He knows a lot about his stuff, you know? Yeah, All right, yeah, I feel we're... like I'm I'm on an island here. I feel like I find him yeah. infuriating. You're on yes. No Sex Island, and no we're over here island. getting loads <laughs> blasted it's all here. over us. I would let him come inside me raw. Yeah, I'd let him. Yeah. I'd let him junior me. I'd unfiltered let him Amber, me. you'd let yeah. him go unfiltered, unfiltered raw camel. Yeah. yeah, drinking made me smoke. Says Riverboat Gambling Trip. Just dark. But what I will say is, uh, this man, this camel. Also, dude, he's dude, he's always surrounded by B words, man. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're hanging off of him, and he's good at all of it. He's good at yeah, he's good at flying planes. He's good at playing the piano. He's James Bond. Yeah, he's got it all, dude. And by the way, oh, do camels have fu- are camels packing usually? Are camels fucking locked and loaded? Are, are, are they? Them? You gotta be. Yes, them. they are. Have you ever, you've never seen a camel's dick? <laughs> Piss or no? Come? Have you? Yes. Have you? Holden? Have you Where? not seen any Indiana Jones movie, bro? It's fucking. <laughs> I don't remember that. Scene that happens so film. much in those, dude. S tier, baby. S tier. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. mean, you know what? I I had my doubts, but after talking to you two, I guess it's true. That camel knows humps. That's the thing, the hump. I was about to bring that up too, because if you're a lady riding on that thing, it's like riding a Sibian. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at what that. The, where did, how, Look at, actually, what get that was the, the Google search? Yeah, <laughs> get what it off was... the screen. Get off the screen, actually. Wow. I get his fan from Twitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I yield, I yield the floor. I yield. I can't. I can't. I can't say? fight this fight. Uh, they want S. Chat they, they, says are... they love it. Yeah, S tier. My main impression of you is subbing for Marcus in Grand Rapids, Michigan with Jackie, and this is redeeming you. Oh my God, I did bad in that show. I was waiting for the backhanded compliment. I'm going uh. S as a motherfucker. I'm going S. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, two more, right? Two more. We got two more. 
We got two more. What we got? Uh, what do we got? I'm excited. Ew, Mark Zuckerberg. What? what? <laughs> F. <laughs> F. Tears He doesn't even have a cock. Tears it's Metaverse Zuckerberg. Yeah, he definitely is penisless. That is the face of a yeah. penisless it's man. It's like a Ken Barbie. No, literally, on the avatars. Green. The avatars don't have crotches or legs. They couldn't figure out that technology. Mm -mm. I use a meta headset all the time and it's fucking weird. I feel like the Mark Zuckerberg AI, whatever that is, doesn't have a cock yet still somehow finds a way to rape you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> somehow you get sexually assaulted in this and it's awful. Yeah. F, F. Agreed, uh, agreed. Uh, I I mean, everyone says F, yeah. F or veto, yeah. F or veto. Uh, is there anything lower than an F? Yeah. Is there anything lower? Rape your soul hole, says McGinn. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, That's F. Z. Tierzo, no. Tier they didn't oh, give you the no. veto balloon. You do not have this power. Thank you, Catherine. By the power of Christ, Tierzo, you will do as you are within your limits. <laughs> All right. Mark Fuckerberg, more like it. That's it's an right. F. It's an F. All right. Come on, enough of these prank ones. All right. Let's get on to the to the real meat. Yeah. I want to see something nice and juice filled. Mm. Mr. Clean, baby. He. Yum yum. Yeah. Is he gay? Uh, right, do you want to have his baby, Amber? Is that why you're asking? I might have Mr. Clean's baby. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely gay for pay. We can yeah. definitely, yeah, he's super gay for pay. He has an OnlyFans, let's be honest. But I feel like a lot of his thing, he is the most poly, says Uber Marie. I feel like a lot of his thing mm. is that he seduces the, the, the trad wife. The trad wife. I think that he mm. has a, an OnlyFans, and then that puffy doughboy subscribes to it. That I is 100% so. accurate, Amber. You are 100% on and target. And I think he would fuck really good, but he's sort of emotionally disconnected from the fuck. Like, mm -hmm. I would, like, lay in bed afterwards, and we would chat, but then he doesn't understand. He knows how to make you come. He doesn't know how to make you, like, laugh. Let me know? throw this out there. Mm -hmm. OCD. So he's got to pump you five times. Right. Then pull out, then, like, think a good thought. Then pump you six more times, then pull out, then like think a bad thought. It's porn star sex is what yeah, it is. but it's like and then just very like magical thinking sex. It's just going to be exhausting. It's going to be this like constant. I think his balls are shaved. I think he has no pubic hair. He does the mm. porn star shave all the pubes. Yeah, he can't even touch a fucking doorknob. Of course, his balls are shaved. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh my god, I didn't even think about this angle. Absolutely. His asshole shaved. His asshole and is bleached. It's not like OCD people can't have sex, too. I'm just saying it's going to be a little bit of work. It's going to be a little bit of extra. Yeah, I think you know he's I mean? in the sex industry, and for him, sex is just like a thing you do. Yeah, it kind of looks mm. like that guy, Mr. Sins or whatever his name is, the guy that is in all the pornos. <laughs> right, right. He's sort of that thing. He just like, has an earring. He, it's not, he's not a, immediately a porn star. I'm he's just a B fit a. guy with an earring. I'm thinking A Ooh. because he would be good in bed and it would be mm -hmm. good. He would be like good if I got my rocks off with him and I'd be like, Mr. Clean, I'm so lonely. I haven't fucked and I'm looking for like an emotional connection. And he would give that to me and I would give him like $150 and then he would leave and be very nice about it. He wouldn't disrespect me. He wouldn't call me names. He wouldn't take weird pictures of me and send it to his friends. I would just pay him 150 bucks and he would come and load in me and then leave. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it'd be a good load. It'd, it'd be, be a good load. Nice, I'm thinking A. I'm thinking it'd be a hydrated load. I would pay a for very a professional, yeah. efficient load. Yes, he is. A, he is a. And then afterwards, he'll yeah. clean up. He will. Afterwards, the. Please, Amber. He, Mr. Rose, a male sex eraser. worker. All right. Use yeah. the correct terminology <laughs> when you sorry. talk about the man. What did I say? No. <laughs> I don't know what I no, said. Just... I think he's an A. And honestly, I've been at points in my life where I wanted to come so bad, and I went to a bar and picked up a guy, and I could not come, and he was disgusting and like whatever, and right. he didn't give a shit about me. He's the kind of guy I could give him 150 bucks. He would make sure I was okay. 
he would take care of me, and then he would leave. I feel like he has a really Amber, needy stop. Prostate. I'm going to fall in love with Mr. Clean. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I feel like he's got a big prostate. You're like, wow, did you have like an anal, uh, whatchamacallit, prolapse? And he's like, no, that is just actually my prostate. Like, right, he's right. like a monkey. No, no. Mr. Clean keeps it clean and tight. <laughs> Mr. Clean. I'm just spitballing here. Right. I'm just coming up with that. What's just popping into my dome, all right? An, so. Yeah, he has a big asshole. So, like, when he pumps inside of you, and if you were to look on the outside of his asshole, it would like blow up a little bit because he's had cocks inside of it. And that's okay because he works for sex. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think he's received double anal before? Absolutely. Whatever the money is. All right, let's sex. keep it going then. Do you think triple anal? Sure. He's been fisted in the back of a pickup. Quadruple anal. Sure. Mr. Clean and he cleans up. I'm Quintuple clean. anal? I mean, when does it end? <laughs> sex tuple anal? That's right. He's good. He's in the business. <laughs> I can't even keep going at That's the most anal you can go. I don't. I think you can go more I, anal. Anal can go to yeah, 11. Yeah, octa-anal, non-anal, deca-anal. <laughs> like, there's so many more right. anals, Holden. I think he's an A-tier. Torgo says follow the money. Uh, <laughs> I think he has sex with whatever, and he's very nice about it, and has protection, and I don't think he has STDs. I think he's very clean. No, he's clean. He's, he's clean. clean. He's it's precise. in the name. He may yeah. he make you come. He's going to do the job. I mean, he's going to get it done. He's going to get it done well. And yeah. that's the thing. If you're we, not, he's not leaving until, you've, until you, you know, owe out. You know what I mean? He's not a gooner, but he'll he'll be one for you if he need if you need that to happen. Exactly. We just talked ourselves up from like A to S. This is an S tier lover. I think lover. Mr. Clean. I said in the very beginning, Mr. Clean, I was my favorite. Was Maybe my was my top tier. horse. I mean, I think in two, it's like a it's 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 not too big of a penis, but it almost is. It's got a great shape. It's like perfectly dipped upwards, like curves upwards, so it hits right on that G. Does he have a vein? Uh, for sure, but like a perfect one. I mean, right. in every way. And then we're talking, I mean, if you want to talk about ball, shave balls, we already talked about it, but we'll say it again. If you want to talk about prolapse assholes, we, we'll say it again. If you want to talk about sex top later, we'll say it again, dude. I'll say it all fucking night. I'm here, dude. I'm not leaving, man. They're all going to pack up and leave. I'm still going to be sitting here saying these words. Just in the dark. Just in the dark. Triple anal. Yeah. I don't have anywhere to be, anywhere to go. My wife kicked me out of the apartment. I'm, 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 I'm no longer allowed to see my child. I'm here, dude. I'm talking about this right now, and I'll do it till the day I fucking die, dude. S tier. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think All it's right. an S. There we go. There you go. All right. Is that all of it? I'm proud of us. That's amazing, man. We went through it. Jesus, I feel spent. I really do feel like I received some kind of experience from one release, of these, you know Holden, what I mean? You've experienced release. Absolutely. And I've experienced the thrill of cheap vodka. I don't think I've enjoyed that since <laughs> I was- In the 1930s when it was more money? Since I was in my youth, back when I used to take shots of Smirnoff 100 and then watch Dragon Ball Z with my friend at five o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. <laughs> what the fuck? We're smoking, taking breaks to smoke black and mild. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holden, you were so broke. Yeah, we were weird. No, no, this was in like 10th grade. Yeah. This is in high school. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I guess I went. Well, yeah, sure, I was broke like a high school kid. Definitely didn't have a job. We got some veto balloons, though, right? Yeah, we got some veto oh, so balloons. It's, it's Corleone time. Uh, let's get into it. What's the Who do we have coming in from the subs? We've got uh, Hilaire Satan, and we've got Pack of Misfits, right? So can we pop up the uh, tier list? I definitely have some stuff I want to move around. Oh, can we talk about it real mm. quick, or should we move? What do you think? I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, Energizer Bunny, go down to see. You're mid as fuck. You're this weird, Whoa. like, vacation poly guy. You're this, I like your vibe from across the room. You're not actually going to give anybody an orgasm. You're just going to pump and dump, and that's my fucking view. Dude. I dude. I think so, true. Duolingo F now. We cannot move Duolingo to F, but we can move Duolingo to D for you. So let's go ahead and do that for Pack of Misfits. Hilaire <laughs> Satan, are you still here? And would you like to use your veto balloon, please? Men don't get orgasms. I'm talking about female women right now, Cass Reeves. Men don't get orgasms? Yeah, they do. It's about stamina. I could say, okay. 
Uh, M&M's down to C. Red is too short. Orange is a loser. Lives in his mom's basement. Wow. Yellow is a doofus. Green is hot. Blue is cool. Whoa. Yeah, just a mid orgy. Yeah, a mid orgy. Well, there's a couple, and you're always trying to get to them, but you can't. You keep getting pulled away to to fuck someone you're less interested in, and you never really fully get to enjoy the one you wanted to fuck. Yeah. The, the green one. And the blue one? Right. I feel like the orange would like slip the condom off. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> totally. Yeah, you get pregnant. No, not you crispy. Like, Oops. I thought it was still on. You know, it's like yeah. you don't know it's still on. You know. All right, we've got yeah. Am- Whoa. It's a comedy of errors over there by Tirzo. We've got Amber's balloon and we have Jake's balloon. The floor is yours. Oh, me? Can we pop the list up again? Oh, what's going on? Mm. The Mr. Peanut. Oh, but he's on Epstein's Island, but he's not. You know, I'm going to move him up to S tier. I'm moving Ooh. up to S here. Wow. Just because I think he's giving some women some dreams. I think he's like paid a woman college tuition to like be his girlfriend for a few months. I love it. Yeah, I, I can see him at a- S. I could see him at S. Uh, I think you could win him over fully even. You know, if you looked like his ex. Right. Jake. Oh, no. Okay. How mad would chat be if I bumped the Quaker Oats guy to D? I feel like he's <laughs> Why, got... though? Why would you do that? I don't know. I just think he's you got don't know. Zans. You have to know. Why? I, I'm a fan of the Society of Friends, the Quaker faith. The fact that they but never, that's... like... Updated like him or tried to make him cool, I just find very endearing. Jake, but, Quaker Oats Man is going to get up five times in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Dude, yeah, that's I not know, a good reason. You can't just like like the Quaker people. Yeah. I agree. Quakers are harmless. Like, they're whatever. But that doesn't I make like them, them. I better than an effort. Neat. This is fuckability, man. Look at that list again and tell I me know, who you think I fucks know. better or worse based on absolute fucking. Fine, fine, fine. I will be a conscientious objector to bumping up the Quaker Oats, man. Uh, if if anything, I that A tier is looking real lonesome. I want Kool Aid Man. I agree. Up a tier. Right. Thank you. Oh I yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I was gonna actually suggest that. Thank you so much, Jake. And there you have it. Let's bring it back up and read through them one last time. Starting at F, we've got uh, the Colonel. Oh wait. Chat Vito, Chat. Chat Vito, what do you guys have for us? Anybody? Chat, I mean, we, let, scream at us. Scream at us right now. I'll tell you what, the next chat that says one up or down, I'll just do it. Wow. Camel to A. <gasps> what? what? That's the first one I read. <laughs> Whoa. Camel to A. They must have just quit smoking or something. Yeah, something like it's that. Crazy. That's lame as hell, y'all. That's wrong. You but. know what? <laughs> I, bet, I bet he would have given somebody trauma. Yeah. That he's like mm. some girl, some very pretty young girl. I bet she's a little traumatized from Camel. I will say a lot of people said Camel to, uh, like a f- multiple. Camel is abusive. Oh. Yeah. The mm. long term effects of his dick. Right. He's good for like a three month thing. Right. right exactly. All right, he's good in your 20s. It. Gets a little less good in the, th- you know what I mean? It's one of those. He's probably going to be hanging out at the bar when he's 50, still trying to pick up 23 year olds. Totally. And we're all just kind of like. That's, that's uh. what I've been trying to say this whole time. Whatever, Jay. That's, <laughs> that's the guy who talks about. Jazz and pool halls and his Harley. Yeah, okay, okay, you're right. All right, camel to A. No? What do you mean? No. No? <laughs> Tear, tears those what gone wrong. Tear so gone wrong. What does that mean? mean? Tears so no. denies. Says no, Tears no. no. Tears so says this is the first time it's ever happened in the lore. Tears so <laughs> denies the chat. Incredible. No, I not going to happen. If Sorry, we're everybody. About fuckability, he would be good to fuck. Talk about, yeah, c- c- absolute chaos. Absolutely. Should we try again? All right, next thing someone says, we'll put. Next thing someone says, oh. we'll put. What do we have? Mr. Clean oh down. Oh. What? All right, you can take oh. Mr. Clean down. Because, right. the yeah, it's going to be all the ritual fucking stuff. All right, cool. All right, right let's right. put it in. Also, I feel like he had his balls pierced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he got a Prince Roger or whatever it is. Andrew? It's called a Prince Andrew. Uh, yeah, it's so deflated because you barely blew it up. So it's impossible to just rip it. Just rip it in half. Yeah, there you go. Whoa! Whoa, be stronger. There you go. (laughs) 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Amber, thank you so much. Oh my um, God, me and the Kamchata. There you go, Amber's <laughs> gonna be, uh, you can find Amber in a dumpster behind a Dunkin' Donuts later tonight. Uh, try to get her back to her house. Uh, that would be helpful. Anything else you wanna plug? Um, I might wanna have a drink after this, I don't know. All right, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I think you're definitely gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're like, I don't know if it's gonna know. happen. I've gotta so consult with Jesus. Absolutely 100% in the cards <laughs> for Amber Nelson this evening. Uh, anything else you wanna plug besides drinking habit? <laughs> uh, someplace Underneath is coming back like the real deal show. We've always done a show, but now it's a little more chatty, but we're gonna go back to our regular season very, very soon. Oh. There you go. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, else? death. It'll happen to all of us. That's right. Jake. Not me. Not you. Not me. I got it. Yeah, I got a plan. We got to get out of there. All right, check out uh, Where's the Bruiser? All these shows. LPN. And thank you so much. Tears out. Thank you so much for being a part of this, as always. There you go. And uh, (laughs) thank you, James, and and behind the screens. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good night. Mr. Clean's going to. Fuck you in the ass. Whoa, (laughs) prolapse.